Let me show you what tool is. Tool is like a fabric. It's something like they make wedding dresses out of. And it is really great for anybody that's gardening that has any issues with anything. I love my tool. As you can see, there's tool behind me. And by the way, that tool is going on two years old. And these are 54 inches wide. So it looks like it's not that wide, but it will unfold one more time. It's fantastic. So it's really wide and you have 40 yards. Let me tell you, one goes a very long way. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I started this clip with an opening of a video I did a few years ago. How I love my tool. I still do. I use it all over the yard. I make fences out of it. Some of them have stayed up for two years and then I've replaced them like out front with a beautiful black color tool. And that is still up there now over a year old. Let me say that if I did not find tool to start using it, I would not have half of what we grow here. It's not perfect. You may still lose here and there, but let me tell you something. Most of the critters do not like it. You can wrap watermelon, whether it's hanging up on a fence or down on a tote. There are so many things you can use tool for. I have wrapped a lot of our fruit trees. Here you'll see me wrapping a fig tree. We never get figs due to all the birds and critters here, but when I wrap them, every fig that was wrapped with tool made it, except for the few that I forgot to go back and get, which ended up drying up under the tool. It is so easy to put up. You trim a couple leaves if they're in the way, wrap the tool around and tie it with either string, yarn, masking tape, zip ties, whatever you want to use. I've even wrapped it around our papaya. A lot of times I wrap different kale with it just at the base and that's all I need. So nothing goes up and bothers my beautiful green leaves. Sometimes I get lazy and just throw it in there and kind of bunch it around. It works that way too. Of course, it can get stuck to a rabbit or a squirrel. You may find it on the other side of the yard because they dragged it off. But I have saved so many melons, so many tomatoes by just either wrapping the individual fruit or wrapping the entire plant when needed. So easy to put up so easy to take down and don't ever throw the scrap tool away we have so many uses for it if you're starting lettuce you throw some tool over the top i layer so i can grow lettuce at the same time i'm growing squash and other plants but this way with tool the birds can't eat the lettuce seedlings and then i can stick some steaks in a pot that will be my stand and then I can wrap tool around an entire tote. Think of it as kind of a cage around your plants and it doesn't take long at all. These bolts are so big that they go so far and I'm telling you once you try it ten dollars I think it's worth it. You will find that it could be the lifesaver you needed in your garden. There are so many different ways and ideas that you can use tool in the garden. You'll probably even come up with other ideas that I haven't done because I'm constantly thinking of new ways to use my tool. Wait till you see some of the new stuff that I'll be coming out with this year. Don't throw away, like I said, any of the old tool. Even if it's kind of, you know, it's not as strong, you might pull it, might tear, it's still has a use. Take your old tool, throw it in a pot, and just hold on to it. But tool can save all kinds of your plants. Mice, rats, rabbits, squirrels. They don't like it because their nails get stuck to it. It's not hurting them. They don't even know it won't do any damage to them at all. But the point is their nails are like little needles and when they touch it, it gets stuck. They run from it. Birds can land on it. This is not bird netting. Bird netting is dangerous. Bird netting can kill birds because they get their legs stuck in it, they get wound around, and they get hung up on it. In fact, there's countries that use bird netting to catch and trap birds. Tool, they cannot get stuck in. So you don't have any problems with that at all. Even snails and slugs, if you can seal it up, I make all kinds of hoods and tops now we're using tool, you can keep them out too. Just keep in mind, if you cover something, you got roly polies or something in there, you're gonna be protecting them inside so no critters will get them. So you wanna make sure your soil is clean if you're doing seedlings. You can make an entire room basically of tool. Here's a video I just found on my cell phone 
that I did a few months ago on lettuce. Enjoy it and think about using tool. I think you may find it will work for you too, just as it worked for me. And be aware, there is so much more coming with me and tool. So enjoy the video that I did a few months ago, the last video that I just found on my phone, on my lettuce. Another way to put tool up where you don't even need any tomato steaks. And I wanted to show you today how I'm growing lettuce now. Yeah, you know how I'll always grow lettuce. It's so easy to just crush it and then just pick out the best ones. Well, the birds have been eating most of the lettuce seeds on them. When I go through my old lettuce seeds, I have found, like now, no lettuce seeds. So I've been crushing them and getting a few, and I got a few in here. But I want these for myself. This is the easiest thing anybody can do. It's free. I took some branches. You could do this in any container. This is an upside down container. These aren't worth it. They were over $100. I wouldn't buy them, but I got them for like five at Walmart when they were blowing them out. But you can use a tote. You could use a bucket. You could even do this in the ground. I just took simply some branches off a tree. That's all I did. Stuck them on each corner, just stuck them in there. And then I draped some tool over it with a clothespin. Guess what? Nothing is getting to my lettuce now. Look how beautiful it came up in a matter of a few days. It's only been days and more little seedlings are starting. That's a lettuce seed down there. So I've got more lettuce seeds starting to come up, but there's not too many. So lettuce to me is very precious to me. This is a salad and these are just going to double and triple in size every day. Now I do keep a little compost bucket here. This is my compost tea, which is plant fertilizer. And what I like to do is just take a little bit of that. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. And I just put it in there. And those lettuce have been just thriving off of this. Keep it covered and you won't have, see, it's been sitting for quite a few days. No mosquitoes at all. Nothing getting in there, but it's right at your fingertips. I could leave this open if I wanted to, but since I don't need this pollinated, there's no bees that have to get in there. I can simply just drape it back. Very simple, so easy when you're using clothespins and clothespin it. And now nothing's gonna get in there. No birds are gonna bother it. No insects, no moths, no nothing. And I can just come out here, pick it, wash it and eat it. So I hope I gave you some ideas on how to protect your lettuce. And look how simple that is. Just a piece of tool. Remember, I'll put the link down below on the tool. I'll put the link on how I grow my lettuce as well. The tool is $10 for a bolt. I get mine on eBay. I've bought quite a few from them. And I absolutely love it. They send them right out. They have multiple colors. You get the color you want. I like the dark green or the black color. Gary likes the red because he likes to see where he put it. It works fantastic. It protects the plants from multiple things. No squirrels, no birds, no nothing get in there. No rats get in there. I haven't had any problems with it. And I absolutely, I would not have what I have today if it wasn't for a tool. Easy to work with. And like I said, it's $10 for a bolt that's 40 yards, 54 inches wide. So that is fantastic. If you've got something else that you can cover it with, that is really good. When I don't cover it, I even get grasshoppers in here and they will just eat the entire lettuce head in a matter of hours. I'll come out here, it's gone, but nothing has touched it. And that is what works so well for me. So I hope I've given you ideas on what you could do with lettuce. Easy to grow, good time of the year here. We're in fall, so the lettuce loves this weather. We're not too hot. And if we are, I can drape something over those sticks, those branches that are simply sitting there, something light, even a t-shirt and protect them from the sun. And then too much sun won't burn my lettuce and my lettuce can keep going. I plan on doing a whole lot more lettuce. And lettuce, remember, all you have to do is just sprinkle it in there. If you have too many, you just lift them out with a little spoon and just move them anywhere you want. When they are super tiny like that, like in the back, even a little bit bigger, they are so easy, even this size, they are very easy to move. They don't even know they got moved. They don't even droop when you move them. So that is it. So now I have lettuce tonight for our tacos or a salad or whatever I wanna do, and you can too. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and don't forget, to eat with your grow. Bye-bye. And I'll put a link as well as how I make my compost tea, which is a fertilizer. And it's just simply by things in the garden, but it's so easy to make. Bye-bye everybody. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat with your grow.